Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, William Ruto is in the US for a state visit. And of course, yesterday there was a joint press uh, conference between Ruto and uh, the US President Joe Biden. Many questions were raised, including the issue of deployment of Kenyan police officers to Haiti. You know, so many issues about Haiti, uh, U.S. government involvement in all this. So, when Ruto was asked about the U.S. involvement in uh, uh, pushing Kenya to deploy police officers to Haiti, this is his position on that question. Kenyans participation in Haiti is not about what happened in the past. The U.S. cannot commit Kenya to Haiti. It is we, the people of Kenya, who made this decision. <laughs> I am the president of Kenya, and it is me who made the decision. It is the role of the people of Kenya to commit their troop using their structure. We have gone through all the process in Kenya. So it is him, it is the people of Kenya who are doing so. Of course, Joe Biden went further to clarify something, and this is his position. I quote him, We concluded that if the U.S. deploy its forces to the northern hemisphere, it, is raise, it raises all kinds of questions that can be easily misinterpreted by what is happening in Haiti. Remember, There are people who believe that it is U.S. that armed the gangs on the street to disrupt the government so that they can have a free day to do their own activity that is beneficial to them, which is against the Haiti people. So you bring trouble to Haiti at expense of benefiting. There has been that kind of uh, narrative or thinking in that line. So, after the press conference and Ruto's respond to all this, the Haitians in the U.S. Hold a, uh, decided to go for a protest. And they were holding plankers in the uh, in U.S. at the Kenyan embassy in the U.S. And the message was all over written. They are elected to Kenyan president and they demand Ruto to stop the plan to deploy a police officers to Haiti. They were marching around the Kenyan embassy in the U.S. chanting Ruto's name. You, you, you know, you know, you know, he's a slave, right? Yeah, he's a slave. Yes, right. He's a slave. Why are you Haiti? saying that? Haiti. Haiti. That's why you we are here today to protest against what, what, what Muto what, what is about to do. Yes, yes. Why do you think it's a bad thing? It's a bad no, thing. No, you want to invade Haiti? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with, uh, with, uh, um, you can you? Protesters, they are accusing U.S. for instigating gang violence in Haiti arming the gangs on the street. And now it is iron for America to sponsor a peacekeeping mission. So they're learning that it is not Kenya as a country or William Ruto as the president deciding in his own personal decision or a country's decision to deploy police officers to Haiti to bring peace. It is the U.S. that is influencing Kenya to do so. That's their position. And if you look on the planker they are holding, you will see the kind of thing they are writing there. What Ruto is about to do is to invade Haiti. Haitians say no to occupation. 
William Ruto Happy Slayer. That is the message on the blanket. William Ruto, clean your own house. That there's problem in Kenya, clean your own house. That Haitians say no to occupation. That Ruto is being used for some individuals now to occupy the country. That occupation is death. That you think you are, you are going to US to, to Haiti to bring peace, but this is going to cause more death in Haiti. That Ruto want to commit genocide in Haiti. So that is the message. These people are protesting at Kenyan embassy in US. <laughs> now we are continuing this final discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to our discussion. Now, Ruto and his administration anticipated that their visit in the U.S. is going to be so much peaceful, is going to be so much positive, but it seems the negative side is also coming out. That as you go, thinking that you're going to make history, there's also another bad side in terms of also making history is concerned. Now look at the message there. So, while the protesters who are taking uh, um, part in the protest, the international media houses were also covering this. Because this is U.S. So as the international media is covering this, they are also sharing out. So look at the message that other people are getting about William Ruto as he makes his visit to the American. Remember, Africa was colonized. And uh, we still remember about that. It is in our history. So in all the visits that African presidents will make to such country, it's also part of reconciliation and partnership and change from what has existed. But fellow Africans are referring to William Ruto as a slave. That Ruto is a happy slave. That when you join those who have enslaved Africans, no matter where you are as of now, in their bad mission to oppress Africans and take that which belongs to Africa. You know, we are being told Haiti is rich in very many uh, minerals, resources, natural resources. So many. So the focus is on taking that which belongs to the people of Haiti by, you know, influencing a war so that people will be busy fighting the war as you take that which belongs to them. Now, with all this, then you see this happening here and there. Therefore, Ruto is being viewed as a man who is being used by the West to destabilize uh, uh, Africans. I'm not talking about Africa as a continent, but I'm talking about the black people. So, he seems to be a puppet, and that is the that is now the perception out here that Ruto is the West puppet being used for the West to achieve what they want to achieve at expense of betraying the black. So, as many people will be talking about William Ruto. In as much they would want to avoid by every means the negative side, it just come out clear. So definitely, there's no way Ruto will evade, will evade from, you know, being linked to the U.S. and the influence by Joe Biden, the U.S. government in terms of deployment of police officers to it. In as much as saying no, it is his own personal decision. We are seeing where the sponsor is coming from. We know who is sponsoring this. So money from U.S. and elsewhere. 
Those are the people sponsoring the mission. So for Ruto, is just a convey belt for the West. So as they expect, you know, to gain pop popularity positively, as, as they were expecting to make history positively, as UDA was expecting for William Ruto, you know, to attract the positive side in his visit, many things are coming out negatively. Expensive flight, chatter the flight to US at expense of taxpayers' money here. Now the issue of involvement in Haiti, guns. Now the protest. So as Kenyans protest William Ruto here, we saw nurses, we saw doctors, clinicians, as Mio, Kenyans at large, so many people, as we protest here in Kenya, it is imagined that Ruto is being protested worldwide. So everyone is protesting against William Ruto. It tells you that most of the decisions that are being made by William Ruto, they are not wise, they are not well thought of. He just come out with the, some issues that seems to be favoring what he want. Kwa mfano, ndi wapeleke police kule haiti na shida za kutukonazo kenya aziaishu. Ni pesa. So when you have tenderpreneurs in a position of power, their focus is more on what can they get, not what the country can get. I'm not defending the image of Kenya. So imagine Kenya is meeting with any other person outside there. And we're talking about the Kenyan president working in the interest of some few individuals elsewhere at expense of finishing a country. Wanakuona na mnagani, wewe kama mkenya. That's the situation.